Okay, guys, we are so close to completing our last, or what I think is our last task. We need to return all of the plaques to the to the obelisk, and we only need one more. It's this grief plaque right here. And in order to do that, uh, well, I think we need to free Dulius from his cell. It's saying Aquitia, or it's saying I should talk to Georgius about getting the plaque, but we already know where it is. It's in the cell that Dulius is in. And the only way we can get Dulius out of the cell is to get Galerius voted as magistrate. At least that's, to my knowledge, the only way. So that's what we want to do. And then we're going to have all the plaques and then we can uh, meet Pluto, who apparently is the ruler of the underworld. So let's do that. Um... Just in case I'm wrong, maybe we can talk to Julius again and convince him to give us the plaque. Hello. Have we met before? Let's talk about your treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius and Ek, Ek, the priestess lady. She's a nice lady. So, does he have a key to the upper cistern? Where Santilla is being held captive? What? Uh, give me the key, dude. Um. <clears throat> Can I please get the Greek plaque? Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? It makes me happy just looking at it. Can I have it? But if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. Okay, well. Really needed something. I, I've already said this, so I feel like it's not going to change the outcome. But. It's mine, and I really like it. I want to keep it. Mm. Um, well, if you get me out of here, then I'll- Yeah, it's a, oh. There's no way Sentius will release you, but perhaps if we get a new magistrate. Like, Galerius? No. Oh. He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. Perhaps Maliolus will set you free if he wins? No, I don't think... I think Maliolus is... It's a bad dude. I don't think that would work. Um, so persuade everyone to vote for Galerius. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Then you can have my plaque and everyone will be happy. Alright. Bye-bye. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the quest is, still remains the same. We need to get people to vote for Galerius. Can I get your vote? Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? Hmm, let's not say that. <laughs> I don't think people are supposed to know I'm traveling back in time. At least that's what Aquitia uh, recommended I, I I don't... Well, she recommended I don't tell anybody that, so... Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if you have any use for it down here. 
Hmm. For the right price, they'll tell you where you can get your own? Um, if you vote for Galerius, I'll give it to you? Now you're talking, I'm interested. How about a hundred denarii? <laughs> yeah, 5,000, dude. Oh, that's a little excessive, don't you think? It's not the bow of Ulysses we're talking about. What was this? Was, it, was this like that motion? <laughs> all right. Um. All right, all right. But I'm going to need you to tell me before I pay up. Well, how do I know I can trust you? Um. Okay, I I went down this path because I thought I could convince him to vote for Galerius, but now it's like I don't want I don't actually want five thousand denarii. <clears throat> um, I managed to get this bow. Take your chances. Hmm, I suppose you're right. All right, you drive a hard bargain, but here's your money. Wait. Now, the location of that bow. You just handed over 5k? Uh, in the Shrine of Diana. Uh, what? But I already knew that, you imbecile. Everyone knows that. I can't take that golden bow because stealing from the goddess in her own shrine would break the golden rule. You promised to tell me where I could get one of my own. What is this? Some kind of joke? You gave me what I wanted, I get- Dude, I'm playing this, dude. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe this is happening. I do love a good- Ooh! This is what he said to me. Payback, dude. Don't even talk to me. Wow, okay, well I'm not getting his vote. <clears throat> That's fine. Can I get this dude's vote? Virgil? Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? Do you know where, what's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. <laughs> Correct. I, I, I do not want to hear about that. Um, tell me about the temple up on the bluff. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the Temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And... Could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about something else. Of course. I need to get your vote. How can I get your vote? Well, Cynthia seems to know what he's doing. Nobody's broken the golden rule under his watch so far. I don't think this is going to change anything, but... My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. 
Nice to talk to you. Okay, uh, who? Maybe Rufius? Can I get Rufius? To vote? Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Okay, um... Who are you going to vote for? Sentius. Military man. Knows what he's doing. Can I change that? No. Bro. <laughs> Who do I gotta convince? <sighs> Slash how? Are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. When I was you, I found an incomplete letter to him in your court. Maybe we can at least convince him to stop threatening Virgil. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to hurt. I'm going to hurt you badly. Nothing. I just wanted to know. I'm just going to ask you to stop threatening him. And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. Hmm. That's true. Why hasn't the golden rule been broken already? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. Hmm, okay. Seems to me your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. I've already said this. That didn't work. So let's just try the other option. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know. No, I... I don't, but... Why are you so angry? Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? And this is becoming a therapy session. He just seems like a normal guy, keeping to himself. What's your problem? Yeah, why are you so angry? None of your business, kaput merda. Okay. Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. Oh! It must be difficult to be torn between your faith and your desire. Whoa! Okay, now we're getting to the root of it. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. Okay, well that didn't work. I need to make him popular among the majority of the voters. Yes. Agreed. But I don't I don't know who to conv convince. We've already talked to all the people that are voting. With the exception of uh uh what's his face? The guy that was going to jump off the cliff but then we told him not to. This guy. Don't believe a word they tell you. Shalom, friend. Okay. Um, <clears throat> who are you going to vote for? Galerius. He saved my life. I have a feeling he can do a lot more if given the chance. Wait, was that? He said, okay, Galerius. Do we need anybody else? We have Galerius. We have Ulpius. Who else is... I know Calarius can't vote for himself. So Opius. And then the uh, Greek dude who's in charge of the clothing shop. I still don't think that's enough. I don't think we have enough. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Do I just reset the day? And, uh... Maybe I just reset the day, and then I try to get people to vote for him. 
Or in order to reset the day though, I have to break the golden rule. Sorry, dude. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay. So Ulpius, we got Ulpius's boat. We got the boat of the dude who runs the clothing shop, the Greek guy. We need at least one more person. We need at least one more. Okay. I think we can do this. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're- mm -hmm. Okay. Um, don't want to say this yet, because that- Getting everybody to get into the upper cistern wouldn't work. So... Let's do the urgent thing. Let's stick to the plan. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Yulia's dying. Yulia? Oh no. Yep. Alright, I can do that. Uh... Stop Fabia from entering the shrine. All right, let me see. Yep. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Mm -hmm. Tell Maliolus. What? Are you? You're serious, aren't you? I doubt Demetrius will let me talk to him, but I'll make sure he passes on the message. Okay, that's it. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. All right. And now we just wait for him to elect himself as magistrate. Or I guess, um, not elect himself. Uh, put his name in the running? Okay, well, while we wait for Galerius to do all of those tasks, maybe, maybe we should just snoop in his room. Or at least Rufius's room. And maybe we can find out more information on why he feels the way he feels. What do we think? Is this, is this, uh, this, is your, this is your final warning, sinner. Okay, that doesn't help. Stone disc. Okay, he's a cultist. Got it. No, don't want that. Huh. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. Got it. Alrighty. Yeah, that, that, that didn't really help us, other than we found out he keeps a, um, a certain piece of art in his room uh, with a certain uh, body part on it that I, I don't think I can really show or say on, on, on YouTube, so, but I'm, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to convince him. I really don't. Um, let's see. I'm just making sure Opius isn't up here. Galerius already talked to him. All right. Looks like he did. So that's good. Um. Maybe we should talk to her and see if she's... Salve, friend. Octavia? No. We've already, we don't need to talk to her. Who do we need to talk to? Who can help us with Rufius? Mm. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you yet. I feel I feel like I gotta I gotta do something else before I can convince you to stop bullying. Hmm. Welcome. Hello, Lucretia. Can you help me with Rufius? Feeling all right? 
Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling well. <laughs> uh, other than the fact that I keep hearing statues whisper, I'm feeling good. Um, what's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. Yeah. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Um. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside. And nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Hmm. Uh, ooh. I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. have the key to her old chest okay there's two people that come to mind uh, when she says they're easily easily frustrated Rufius and the gladiator guy who works for Maliolus um, I have the key to her old chest perhaps I can find what you need in there really that would be wonderful thank you let me know how you go. Okay. Give you his treatment notes. <laughs> Flatulence. At the top of the list. Rhubarb, ulcers, skin, stomach pains, rheumatism, willow bark. Okay, let's take that. We have the cure. May Apollo keep you safe. Feeling all right? Figured out how to treat rheumatism. Oh, I see. Well, what's the treatment? Willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Did we just solve the... the whole situation? Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just solved it. <laughs> All right. Just because I, I talked to her. Okay. Rufius? Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. 
Did we just come out of the gate and say it? What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. <sighs> this is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Um, how about you vote for Galerius? Uh, are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. Uh, it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. Ah, look, I... I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened. Will you? All right, no problem. Oh my gosh, it's done. Will this convince Virgil? Can we buy Virgil's vote with this? Ah, a new face. Salve, I here we have you to thank for saving. Don't worry about the threats, it's just Rufius and he, he's never going to hurt you. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Uh, yes, and he won't be bothering you anymore. Really? How did you manage that? Found a treatment for his rheumatism, which was making him agitated and compounding some other personal issues. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti, too. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. So are you going to vote for Galerius? Well, Cynthia seems to know what he's doing. Nobody's broken the golden rule under his watch so far. Can I change that? My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Bro, how do I do this? Nice to talk to you. Citizen. I just don't... Wait. Maybe if we can get Galerius to do what I just did when we reset the day, because hold on, I'm, I'm noticing a trend here, right? We tell Galerius to get Maliolus to drop out, and he drops out. We get Galerius to go save, save Opius. Now Opius wants to vote for him. If we can get Galerius to help Rufius, 
then Rufius might vote for Galerius. Huh? Big brain? But in order to do that, we gotta reset the day. Sorry, dude. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay. Moment of truth. Can we get Galerius to save Ulpius? Make Maliolus drop out? To help Rufius? And to save uh, Yulia? Moment of truth. Here we go. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who. Okay, Sir Stance, I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, that sounds serious. I'm listening. <gasps> we did it! Rufius has been threatening Virgil, but if you give him some of this willow bark, it will treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius, too, I guess. All right, got it. Okay, uh, Yulia. Yulia? Mm hmm. Oh, no. All right, I can do that. Yep. Uh, tell Maliolus. What? Are you? You're... And stop Fabia. Okay. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival Fabia. to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Okay, and now... And now we wait. I think... Galerius will do all of this and then we'll have enough voters to get him voted voted as magistrate and then he'll let Dulius out or Dooley and then we can get the plaque and then we can put all the plaques under the obelisk and then we can talk to the Pluto and then I think I think that's it oh my god I'm so, I'm so ready one eternity later citizens we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helver. Marcus Maliolus Gerges withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, Call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helver. Holy shit, we did it. It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. It worked! Okay, so nothing, nothing bad happening yet. We gotta go get our plaque. Holy shit, we have been working up to this moment for so long. I, I am so ready. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out of here? I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. 
I will. That's quite an I impressive will. bow you have there. Thank you, Galerians. Just like Diana's. I'm so oh, okay. happy. <laughs> I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Why? Why is my man walking like that? Okay, no time to waste. Give me this. <gasps> Plaque bearing a Greek inscription, Hades, Lord of Many. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, get out of my- Dooley, no. I need to uh, go. <laughs> hello? I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galerius said I should thank the newcomer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you the newcomer? I sure am. Yes, that's me. Oh, it is you. Then, thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. Welcome. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would, but then he died. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. Okay, what was it? He gave me a key to the cisterns and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something very precious way up high. Please help me find it. Please. I had to keep it a secret until I found someone I could trust. Okay, uh, you got it. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. I think the treasure is the prisoner. It's Scintilla. Upper cistern is below the great temple. The entry must be around there somewhere. I hope you find it. In the cisterns. Way up high. Hannibal said. Oh, look over there. Something shining. Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. I could see it for myself. Mom, <laughs> my man Julius. I wish I could have seen the look on Maliolus's face when Galerius okay. won the election. No time to talk. I need to get up here. I'm, something tells me like Sentius is gonna be waiting for me. And he's gonna stop me or I have to like, I don't know, fight him or push him or something. Push him off the ledge. Please don't be waiting for me up here. I was so pleased to hear Galerius is our new magistrate. He's such a kind hearted man. Oh my God. Insert the plaques. Oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit. It's time. Speak his name? Oh shit, great temple. Speak. Okay, I have to choose? What? Um, Whoa! Oh my god! I have to say all of his names! Oh, please don't do this to me. Furies at 
attack. No, I. Uh, I gotta fight this man. Okay, what is happening? Okay, that didn't work. happening no. you What? Wild ah! creature. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. What? I have no idea what just happened. I was just I was sh kind of literally, but mostly figuratively, shooting in the dark. So, okay. We got to go in. We got to say all of the names of the god of the underworld, okay, to open the doors. And we have to f get into that last chamber and free Proserpina, who was like in that glass box. I thought maybe if I shot him, that would work. Obviously it didn't. And then there was like some weird ghost dude that was also there. Okay. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Miss me with that, bitch. Oh my god, do I do this? Have I done it? I feel like my game is bugging so hard. But that's irrelevant. Okay. We did it. What did we do? 